Market update, midday. Huge move, exactly what we're looking for. Um, again, I think it was confirmed for the most part by this move right here. It was a corrective wave, and so based on all these being corrective waves, we we're expecting a C wave higher, and we got it. This could either be the top, if we zoom out here on the two hour time frame. Um, technically, it could be A, B, C right here, could be the top, or this is only a first wave, and we're going to get a five wave move higher. I think the five wave move higher makes more sense based on the fact that the bottom of this was at 368 and the bottom here is 348 20 points higher is 409 I've been saying 409 for a while that's right here on the uh, long-term trend line and so zooming in here now on the three minute chart it's pretty easy to see um, what I see is one two three four and it looks like one two three four five right here for the overall fifth wave so i think we might have tops here um again lower time frames are kind of tricky so i don't like to say uh 100 but it does look like a fifth wave might have topped right here and um, if that's the case we would at least look for a pullback to Three eighty-two seventy-four for a second wave, or if it's already topped, we just go down. Um, just based on that news and the fact that we have OPEX on the 18th, I would say the most likely scenario is we come down here and then go higher. But I'm open to either scenario right now. So three eighty-two is a fifty percent retracement. We would come back down there and it would look something like this. Let's see where we go on the third wave. Third wave. See, third wave would take us to 404. This is like perfect for 409. So we'd be looking for 382, then 404. So it would look something like this. Pretty much what we already had laid out before. And then that would be the overall C wave. And that would probably finish possibly by OPEX, to be honest. But we'll see. Uh, maybe tomorrow we pull back into the weekend. And then we go higher next week into OPEX. We'll see. But uh, just a quick update for now. The VIX. fell off a cliff and probably has some more to go down if we're going to hit 409 so looking at that and then the dollar has been following our path that we laid out here one two let's go on the two hour time frame one two third wave right here target still 106 to one 106 to 107 and then that would definitely be able to hit 409 if that were to happen. So everything is going as planned. Yields are falling too. I uh, remember the target was 3.7%. What are we at now? We're at 3.84. So everything is basically going right to where we had talked about 3.7%. All by just looking at the top of this, top of this, and then taking it basically subtracted to that. Also, the parallel lines. Um, actually, let me look at this again. Maybe this is going to go, now that I'm looking at it, maybe I had not adjusted that for a while. Let me see. Look at that. Nailed it. So... 
Yields are saying ABC might be finished. Um, but I guess it's always possible. I don't think the dollar is done yet. Hmm. Dollar is... It did break outside the parallel line for an ABC move. We just got to sit and watch and see what we get on the next move down. If it is a corrective wave down, then I'm going to say that this five wave move is likely to happen. If we get an impulsive wave down, then we're going to think that that is a top today. But again, I'm leaning towards the five wave move higher to 409. That's it for now. I'll do an update after the market. Uh, let me know what you think in the comments. Did you make some money today? I made some money and um, I, I lost some money on my hedges and then I made more money on my, I was, I was slightly, slightly bullish going into this. So I made some money on some calls and lost some money on SQQQ. So that's it. I'll talk to you guys after the market.